Welcome to Farming Aid. Today we're diving into one of the most exciting revolutions happening in American ranching, the rise of hybrid cattle breeds that are completely transforming the beef industry. These aren't your ordinary cows. They're the result of decades of selective breeding and smart innovation, built to handle tougher climates, grow faster, and produce higher quality beef than ever before. Across the country, forward-thinking ranchers are turning to these powerful hybrids to overcome heat, drought, and rising feed costs, all while meeting the growing demand for sustainable, premium beef. In this video, we'll uncover the story behind three incredible American-born hybrids that are redefining what it means to raise cattle. They combine strength, efficiency, and top-tier meat quality in ways that traditional breeds simply can't match. Whether you're a cattle producer, a beef enthusiast, or just curious about where the next generation of ranching is headed, this episode will show you how American innovation is reshaping the future of beef, one hybrid at a time. The first of these innovators, the Beefmaster, is a breed that practically defines the concept of American ingenuity in cattle breeding. Developed in the early 20th century by Tom Lasseter in Texas, the Beefmaster wasn't created through luck or guesswork, it was built with purpose. Lassiter crossed Hereford, Shorthorn, and Brahmin cattle, seeking a perfect blend of fertility, weight gain, hardiness, and disposition. Each parent breed brought something crucial to the table, the Hereford's easy fleshing and docility, the Shorthorn's excellent milk production and meat quality, and the Brahmin's unmatched heat tolerance and disease resistance. Together, they produced a hybrid that could thrive in the punishing heat of the American Southwest without sacrificing beef quality. Beef masters are known for their impressive adaptability. Whether grazing on sparse rangeland in Texas or lush pastures in the Southeast, these cattle maintain condition, breed consistently, and produce calves that grow quickly. One of their most remarkable traits is their efficiency, they convert rough forage into lean, high-quality beef with minimal input. For ranchers battling high feed costs and unpredictable weather, that efficiency is gold. Their thick hides and short hair make them resistant to ticks and parasites, and their strong maternal instincts ensure high calf survival rates. Many ranchers report that beefmaster cows can calve year after year with little assistance, keeping labor costs low and profits steady. But beyond their toughness, beefmasters bring something else to the table, genetic predictability. Decades of selection based on the six essentials, weight, conformation, fertility, milk production, disposition, and hardiness, have made the breed incredibly consistent. The meat they produce is well-marbled and tender, appealing to both domestic consumers and export markets that demand premium beef. As climate change and drought conditions challenge traditional breeds, the Beefmaster has become a model for the future of American beef, hybrid vigor with a strong foundation in performance-based selection. Moving deeper into the story of American hybrid innovation, another standout is the Santa Gertrudis, often regarded as the first officially recognized American beef breed. Developed on the legendary King Ranch in Texas during the 1920s and 1930s, this hybrid represents a turning point in U.S. cattle breeding history. The King Ranch team, led by Richard King and his successors, set out to create a breed that could handle the scorching heat, parasites, and poor forage of South Texas while still producing superior beef. They crossed Brahmin bulls with shorthorn cows, and the result was extraordinary. The Santa Gertrudis inherited the Brahmin's resilience and the shorthorn's excellent carcass quality, giving rise to cattle that are both rugged and productive. The breed's rich red coat is iconic but its true power lies in its genetics. Santa Gertrudis cattle possess exceptional growth rates and strong frames, producing heavy weaning weights even under less-than-ideal grazing conditions. Their hybrid vigor shows up in every aspect, better fertility, faster growth, and remarkable longevity. Cows often remain productive well past 10 years, a trait that reduces replacement costs for ranchers. Their calves, born with vigor, gain weight rapidly and reach market readiness sooner than many traditional breeds. In the feedlot, Santa Gertrudis steers perform exceptionally well, yielding beef that's both flavorful and tender. 
The balance between marbling and leanness makes their meat highly marketable in an era when consumers demand both quality and sustainability. On the ranch, these cattle's docile temperaments and ease of handling make them favorites among producers managing large herds. They adapt seamlessly to diverse climates, thriving from humid coastal regions to arid plains. What makes Santa Gertrudis truly remarkable, though, is its influence beyond American borders. The breed's adaptability and performance have made it a global ambassador of U.S. cattle innovation. Today, Santa Gertrudis genetics are found in herds across South America, Africa, and Australia, improving local stock and enhancing beef production worldwide. That international success reflects the breed's enduring relevance, it's not just a Texas success story, but a symbol of how American ranchers combine science, experience, and practical need to shape the future of beef. The third breed redefining the American beef landscape is the Brangus, a powerful hybrid born from the marriage of Angus and Brahmin genetics. Developed in the early 20th century, primarily in Louisiana and Texas, the Brangus was designed to merge the best of two worlds, the Angus breed superior carcass traits and maternal qualities with the Brahmin's ability to withstand heat, humidity, and disease. The result was a sleek, black-coated hybrid that has since become one of the most sought-after hybrid beef breeds in the country. Brangus cattle are proof that hybrid breeding, when done strategically, can create animals that outperform their parent breeds in real-world conditions. They maintain the Angus's high fertility, calving ease, and marbling, but with the Brahmin's endurance and parasite resistance. This gives ranchers the confidence to raise them in environments that would challenge purebred Angus cattle, particularly in southern states where heat stress can impact productivity. Their smooth coats help dissipate heat efficiently, and their tough hides keep insects at bay, key advantages in subtropical climates. Brangus cows are known for their longevity and consistent calving records, making them valuable assets in both commercial and seed stock operations. They're excellent mothers with strong milk production, ensuring rapid calf growth from pasture to market weight. Feed efficiency is another of their standout traits, they maintain weight even under limited forage conditions, reducing dependency on supplemental feeding. This combination of thriftiness and quality production has turned Brangus into a powerhouse breed in the beef sector, especially as input costs rise and sustainability becomes more important. From a beef quality standpoint, Brangus carcasses are among the most marketable of any hybrid breed. They grade well on USDA scales, often hitting the high choice or prime categories thanks to their Angus heritage. The meat's fine texture, marbling, and tenderness give consumers a premium eating experience, while processors appreciate the yield efficiency. In feedlots, Brangus steers convert feed into muscle at competitive rates, ensuring profitability throughout the supply chain. The hybrid's versatility has also made it a cornerstone of many crossbreeding programs, where its genetics improve both adaptability and meat quality in mixed herds. What ties Beefmaster? Santa Gertrudis, and Brangus together isn't just their American origin, it's the philosophy behind their creation. Each breed was developed with a clear goal in mind, to solve the real problems faced by cattle producers in challenging environments. Whether it's extreme temperatures, parasite pressure, or inconsistent forage, these hybrids represent the American spirit of problem-solving through innovation. Their success didn't come from laboratories or corporations but from ranchers and breeders working directly with nature, guided by practical observation and results-driven selection. Modern ranching faces a host of challenges that make these hybrid breeds more relevant than ever. Climate change continues to push temperatures higher, droughts are becoming more frequent, and consumers are demanding beef that's both high-quality and ethically produced. Traditional European breeds, while excellent in controlled environments, often falter under these stresses. Brahmin-based hybrids, however, have the resilience to endure harsh conditions while still maintaining growth and fertility. By combining the toughness of tropical cattle with the tenderness of continental breeds, these hybrids are proving that sustainability and profitability can go hand in hand. The Beefmaster's role in today's industry highlights just how forward-thinking early American breeders were. 
With the world moving toward regenerative grazing and low-input systems, the breed's efficiency and adaptability are perfect fits for this new paradigm. Many ranchers are finding that beef masters not only perform well on marginal land but also contribute to soil health through their grazing patterns. Their ability to thrive on native grasses means less reliance on grain feeding, which cuts costs and lowers the carbon footprint of beef production. This aligns perfectly with the global shift toward more environmentally responsible livestock farming. Similarly, the Santa Gertrudis continues to expand its influence through modern breeding technologies. Genetic selection programs now allow breeders to identify and amplify traits like feed efficiency, carcass yield, and heat tolerance. Santa Gertrudis cattle are increasingly being used in composite breeding programs that target the needs of specific regions, from the humid Gulf Coast to the dry Australian outback. Their genes form the backbone of several newer hybrid lines designed for maximum performance in subtropical climates. Meanwhile, Brangus cattle are at the forefront of data-driven beef production. Many operations using Brangus genetics employ advanced performance recording systems, monitoring feed conversion rates, carcass quality, and reproductive efficiency. The breed's genetic databases are among the most sophisticated in the industry, giving producers the tools to continuously refine and enhance their herds. The result is a breed that not only adapts but evolves, staying ahead of both environmental and market shifts. The story of these three hybrids also illustrates how the American beef industry has moved from purebred dominance to strategic crossbreeding. For decades, the focus was on maintaining breed purity, often at the expense of performance in tough environments. Today, the mindset has shifted, ranchers are more concerned with results than tradition. The hybrid vigor found in Beefmaster, Santa Gertrudis, and Brangus cattle provides measurable advantages in fertility, survivability, and growth. That genetic edge is crucial when profit margins are tight and climate pressures are growing. On the consumer side, these hybrids are quietly changing perceptions of what American beef can be. The meat from hybrid breeds rivals that of traditional Angus in flavor and tenderness, while coming from animals that are raised more sustainably. This gives retailers and restaurants a new narrative to share with customers. Beef that's not only delicious but responsibly produced. As more consumers seek transparency in how their food is raised, hybrid breeds offer a compelling story of progress rooted in nature and innovation. Looking to the future, these American hybrid breeds could play a central role in global beef sustainability. Regions facing heat stress, water shortages, and disease challenges are already turning to U.S. genetics for solutions. The hybrid systems pioneered in America are now being adapted worldwide, proving that the lessons learned on Texas ranches have far-reaching value. In many ways, the success of these breeds underscores the power of selective breeding to create animals perfectly suited for modern agriculture's demands. It's easy to think of cattle as symbols of the past, images of cowboys driving herds across dusty plains, but in reality, the cattle industry has become a frontier of science and sustainability. Beefmaster, Santa Gertrudis, and Brangus cattle represent the next step in that evolution, animals bred not just to survive, but to thrive. They reflect the resilience of the American rancher and the relentless pursuit of better, stronger, and more efficient livestock. When you stand before a pasture of these hybrid herds, what you're really looking at is the living proof of a century of American innovation. Each animal carries within it generations of selective breeding, careful observation, and a deep understanding of the land. The hybrid revolution in beef isn't about replacing tradition, it's about preserving it through progress. As the climate changes, as global demand for high-quality protein grows, and as sustainability becomes non-negotiable, these breeds will continue to lead the charge. The future of beef is hybrid, and the blueprint for that future was drawn right here in America. Ranchers who embrace these breeds aren't just raising cattle, they're shaping the next chapter of the beef industry, one that balances profitability with responsibility. Beefmasters grazing under a blazing Texas sun, Santa Gertrudis cows calving effortlessly in rough pastures, and Brangus bulls thriving in humid southern fields, all are symbols of how far American cattle breeding has come.
And that wraps up our look at how American innovation is rewriting the rules of the beef industry. The Beefmaster, Santa Gertrudis, and Brangus aren't just cattle breeds, they're living proof of what happens when tradition meets science and experience meets evolution. These hybrids were built to thrive where others struggle, turning harsh conditions into opportunity and proving that better genetics lead to better beef. From Texas pastures to global markets, their influence keeps growing, showing the world that the future of sustainable, high-quality beef starts with American ingenuity. As challenges like climate change and feed costs continue to rise, these hybrids are giving ranchers the tools to stay profitable while keeping their herds strong and resilient. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the future of American beef, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more videos on farming innovation, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Which of these hybrid breeds do you think will dominate the beef industry next? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.